All right, guys, what's up? Today, I'm outside with my 2004 WX, and as you can tell from the title, I've literally like kind of neglected this thing in the way that I haven't worked on it since last year. I've literally had an exhaust leak from probably the beginning of this summer, and I've just kind of lived with it, and my appointment to fix it is <laughs> on Thursday. The only thing I've done since last year is literally added a new lip. Uh, I used to have a Cusco style lip on this thing, but it actually cracked in half, and for about a year and a half, I didn't have a lip on it and it kind of looked disgusting, but I got two new uh, Subaru side plates. So brand new from Subaru OEM O2C color with a like kind of stock style STI lip from Honeycomb Motorsports. Um, it had a few like indents in the corner there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, honestly it doesn't bother me because from afar it looks really good. Like you can't go wrong with the stock STI look, but Today, I kind of just wanted to go over the car a little bit and what uh, what it actually has in it because last video that I did breaking down this car literally didn't have all the info that I wanted to have in it. And I kind of wanted to do a little more like POV style kind of walk through it. And just saying it's very dirty right now. Like this tree sap all over the car that I have to get off. All right, so here's the interior. Uh, sorry that it's a bit dirty. Uh, there's a few pieces of garbage. It's just because I've been running around like I've been running my business, so it's been quite busy. But uh, from last time, I have a new version nine steering wheel, version nine cluster. I have the seats still. They're, I don't know, I honestly don't know. I think they're version nine or version seven or something. Six speed in there, it's the 2007 STI six speed. So it's the 3.54 and 3.90 ratio. Um, honestly, it is the best year you can get. Full 2007 STI drivetrain, the front, front and rear Brembo's, and I've got Max brakes on there. They're kind of a local company to me. Uh, pads and rotors, both, both front and back are slotted. Actually, they're drilled, sorry, not slotted. This is kind of gonna be just a walk around video. I'm not even doing anything crazy, but yeah, as you can see, kind of dirty, got a little garbage in there. Just uh, look from this side, got the J JDM hazard button over there. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool touch. Recently, I did what every Subaru owner dreads. I had to do the rear shock towers, unfortunately. I'm gonna overlay some pictures on screen, but. <gasps> yeah, I had these all welded up, cut out and welded with fresh metal. So those are not going anywhere for a very, very long time. But if I left it for any longer, my car would not be here right now. I'm gonna be honest. Still on the LIC flares, Still on the RPG carbon front flares. I've got an ion clear hood scoop thing. I got some hood vents I want to put on, but not yet. Stock headlights, stock STI front bumper, and uh, let's just pop the hood real quick. I've been told to do a little more content on YouTube. So I'm going to be honest, a lot of the videos I'm going to be doing are like kind of like this, just walking around with my camera and kind of showing you guys things. I'm going to go over the engine in detail from what I remember, because I built this probably two years ago now. This is an EJ207 block with EJ205 USDM heads. Um, and it is a 2007 STI drivetrain. I've got Brembo's all around, as well as the R180 diff, and the entire drivetrain is from a 2007 STI. So everything is swapped over. We're not on open diff anymore. I've got DCCD. I'm gonna go into that in a few minutes. It's got a full titanium turbo setup from GT Custom using vibrant performance parts. So we got HD clamps on all couplings. It's a Garrett G25 660 turbo with a 0.72 housing and a three inch catless downpipe, custom. I've got a Turbo Smart 46 millimeter wastegate with a custom up pipe V-banded to the turbo. I have a GT Custom header, equal length header, which is, uh, I can't really show you that. Down in there somewhere, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm actually repairing it on Thursday because I need to get the bellow rewelded. It is an EJ207 block with EJ205 heads. So what happened there was, I was actually originally gonna do a full EJ205 USDM build, but my block cracked because it was too old in the machining process. So what they did, the heads were fine. The block cracked, so they actually had a spare 207 block on hand. So it's actually the uh, semi-closed 207 block in there with uh, USDM205 heads. Joining that, we actually have OEM Subaru head gaskets. Everyone's probably gonna go mental with that and like, why didn't you upgrade them? But honestly, the OEM ones are perfect if you're just using stock blocks. And I'm not running that much power. We got about 400, 
wheel horsepower on the dot and 390 foot-pounds of torque wheel, wheel foot-pounds of torque on 94 pump gas. Uh, we can't get E85 here, unfortunately, so I'm stuck to 94, which is the highest octane rating. And since I daily this car, there's no sense in me like trying to get a barrel of E85 and pay way too much money. 94 it is, and we're making good power for a street car. I'm really happy with the setup. I've been driving it for like two years now. And honestly, I can say I'm like, it's more than I need on the street. I'm scared of this car. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's just scary. Got a Rock Auto alternator there, AC Delco STI alternator. We have a Radium FPR, so IAG fuel rails. And then I also have a Radium fuel pressure gauge right there if it focuses. Yep, and I've got Vibrant PTFE for all the fuel lines. So all the fuel lines are PTFE lines which are great they're super good for high pressure stuff and then i have a iag expansion tank right there running ptfe to my iag aos and i've got a vibrant washing thing washing <laughs> washing fluid washer washer fluid thing pretty handy because uh, i wouldn't have been able to fit the stock one here so the vibrant uh fuel fuel washer sorry washing fluid tank for the windshield windshield washer fluid tank oh my lord is perfect for trying to fit in those small spaces it is not locked down i'm going to be honest it's kind of just sitting there because i don't have the time to mount it and it hasn't moved for like a year and a half so it's fine koyo rad in there just a koyo rad with oem fans because actually oem fans are goaded and they don't need to be changed and i've got a 16 an line just 90s to the block other than that, we've got a custom intercooler setup, vibrant performance on the front there. Uh, custom welded by my welder GT Custom over in Pickering. If you guys need any work done, he does like insane work. This is like a couple of years ago too. Um, it's really hard to show in person or sorry, over video because first of all, the pipes are dirty and it doesn't do it justice and you just have to see this thing in person. It's kind of nuts. He said it's the most pie cuts he's ever done on a system and I believe him because it showed in the bill. The invoice was pretty hectic. Please focus. But yeah, we got HD clamps to secure everything, which I highly recommend spending the money on if you're going custom route. Silicone couplers are just kind of not the route anymore. And honestly, HD clamps are goaded and they have like some new version that are one hand quick release. Um, I have a GFB, GFB blow-off valve over there. So that's actually on a custom titanium mount made by GT Custom as well. It's set to full recirc, I believe, or it's set in the middle. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm really happy with the sound that it produces and also the performance of it. Like I said before, we have EJ205 USDM heads. So with that, I have manly springs and retainers, GSC valves, I wanna say. It could be manly valves. But anyway, it's got aftermarket valves, springs, retainers, guides, uh, stems, everything, um, other than the cams. So the cams are stock. Don't ask me why I did that. I just didn't want to spend the extra money for cams. And also at the time, I low key didn't know how big of a difference cams made. It is a street port, so that's great. And they're, uh, they're built by NV Auto. The whole block is built by NV Auto. So going into the block, it's got Manly Platinum Stroker Pistons. So this is a 2.1 stroker motor, 2019 STI nitride crank. Uh, I think I oversized the pistons by 0.5. So they just drilled out that, or say they bored out the top layer there, that, that old top layer and just gave it a fresh, uh, fresh 0.5 coating. This thing slaps, this thing rocks, I'm not gonna lie. I love this car and it drives incredibly well on 94 pump gas. Another thing I wanted to mention because it is a really cool feature of my car, this car does have DCCD, so it is a MAP DCCD controller, as you can see down there, and I really like the location they put it in. So this used to be like a, a money tray, cigarette tray thing, and they were actually replaced it with the DCCD controller, uh, which is super sleek, and I really, really like the position. I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea how to use the manual control on it, so I've always kept it on auto. I'm still on an access port because I don't want to go for the full on open source thing yet with uh, standalone. And honestly, the tune on this car is really, really good. And I just don't want to start the process over again. I don't have the money to go for a standalone setup. It's probably going to be like minimum 5K. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of a quick overview of the entire build as it sits. I do have side skirts to go on. So 2007 STI side skirts, hopefully they fit. I don't know. They're blue. I'm just going to throw them on, see if they work. 
But on Thursday, I'm dropping off my car to get the uh, header fixed for from the exhaust leak, as well as I have to bring this car to a show on Thursday. I've been requested to bring this car to a very private exclusive event. I can't really release anything else about that right now because I'm not sure what I'm allowed to tell, but uh, I will have footage up on my channel of how that night goes. So it's been long enough that you guys have been watching this video and I wanna let you in on a little secret about what I'll be doing next year to get you hyped. This is just plans and I'm not for sure that it's gonna happen next year, but my plans are gonna be ditching the flares all around. So I will be doing a sedan rear, sedan front, uh, completely new paint jobs because the uh, the roof and just the body is just in rough shape from, from a paint standpoint. Uh, I gonna, will be getting new wheels for sure because I've been on my RPF ones for quite a long time. Not sure what route I'll be taking, but probably gonna go Advan RGs or something. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and I know I haven't posted at all, but please, please, please stay tuned because I finally have some more time on my hands that I can dedicate to this channel and to this car because it deserves it so much. I'm really excited to uh, also show you guys how it rips. I gotta mic up the engine bay, gotta mic up the exhaust. It's been far, far too long since you guys, that you guys have been waiting probably to see this car actually fly. So I'm definitely gonna do that soon since uh, winter is among us. I've got lots of leaves on the ground and uh, it's not the happiest time of year because the car has to go away for the winter. But um, I'm gonna definitely try to continue working on it over the winter. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. If there was anything I missed, please let me know in the comments. And please also let me know if you guys wanna see any certain videos, I will be happy to make that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more homies.